everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates and I teach lettering and digital design. Today I have a Procreate tutorial for you and I'm going to show you how to set up and use a quick menu. So if you don't know what a quick menu is, it is a menu with shortcuts to different functions in Procreate, and you can customize these shortcuts to whatever you want. So my quick menu is set up like this. So there are six different shortcuts, and I have mine set to add a new layer, open the color panel, open the layers panel. I have it set to my favorite sketching brush. I have duplicate layer and uh, recolor. The purpose of the quick menu is to have quick access to the functions that you use the most. And this saves time and it streamlines your workflow. If I tap the 6B pencil one, like I said, that's my favorite sketching brush. And when I tap that, the 6B pencil one is activated. This is what I use to sketch all of my designs. So instead of scrolling through the brush library to try to find this brush, every single time I want to start a design, all I have to do is tap the 6B pencil one in my quick menu for instant access. And the same goes with all the other functions in the quick menu as well. If I tap open color panel, the color panel opens. If I tap open layers panel, the layers panel opens. Now I know that the color panel and the layers panel are right up here, but when you're working in design and you're constantly moving your Apple Pencil back and forth up here to change between color panel, layers panel, it can really disrupt your workflow. So that's why I love to have everything right here in the quick menu. So that's how you use the quick menu. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up. So in order to set up the quick menu, you come up here to the wrench icon, just your controls and tap quick menu here on the left. And when you do that, the customized quick menu will come up. And this is how to customize your menu to access the quick menu. You can see I have access to my quick menu by a finger touch while holding the square button will invoke the quick menu. If I come over here and hold down, I call this the square button right here. I don't know what else it's called. If I hold that down and tap, my quick menu comes up. But you can set your quick menu to come up however you want. There are all these different options. You have tapping the square will invoke the quick menu. You have a finger touch a finger touch while holding the square, which is what I have. You have Apple Pencil while holding the square, a three finger swipe, a four finger tap, or a touch and hold. You have to be aware that if you choose one of these gestures to activate the quick menu and you are already using that gesture to activate something else, it's going to give you a warning. So I have my eyedropper tool activated when I touch and hold. So if I try to toggle on the touch and hold for the quick menu, watch what happens. If I toggle that on, this warning sign is gonna come up next to the eyedropper tool, meaning I can't use that touch and hold function for the quick menu because I'm already using it for the eyedropper. So that's how you set up the access to the quick menu. Now, how do you actually set up these buttons? So there are six buttons for the quick menu and you can set them to whatever action you want. All you have to do is tap and hold and the action layer, the action menu will come up. So then you can scroll through this action menu and you can choose whatever you want the action to be. Now it's all in alphabetical order and so it makes it really easy to find what you want except for the brushes. So I have my one of my buttons set to my favorite sketching brush. And if I tap and hold, you can see that it's set to my favorite brush, but 
If you want to set brushes, the action is under select brush. So tap select brush and then choose the brush that you want. Mine is under sketching. So sketching 6B pencil one, and there you go. It's set to 6B pencil one. Now you can also make more than one quick menu. If you tap on the quick menu button right here in the middle, you can see that you can add more than one quick menu. So I have quick menu one, and then there's quick menu two, which I recently set up, but I haven't set up any actions yet for the buttons. So I can choose whatever action I want for the buttons. So say I want to choose, say I want to make this all my favorite brushes. I would go to select brush and I would choose all my favorite brushes in here. And so I could have one quick menu set to all the brushes that I love. And I could have another quick menu set to all the functions that I love. So that's how you set up and use a quick menu in Procreate. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And don't forget to check out my blog at kellyleecreates.com for more Procreate tutorials. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you in the next video.